My name is uh, Dr. Ibrahim Madaki Ahmad, the Director of Head Services Department of Nasara State University, Kefi. This facility was commissioned in 2009 by retired General Tewai Danjuma and donated to Nasara State University. And the facility has been operational since then for almost uh, 12 years before a serious upgrade of the facility was uh, undertaken under the leadership of our Amiabu Vice Chancellor, Professor Suleiman Bala Muhammad. The facility is for the health of the students and staff of uh, Nasara State University and also the surrounding population around the university community. We have a range of various services that any hospital can serve its own population. These uh, services are so numerous. We have a 30 bed hospital. We offer services that are very, very essential to our staff and students. We, we have two wards, male and female wards. We have the eye clinic, we have the dental clinic, we have the physiotherapy unit that cater for rehabilitation of uh, stroke patients. We have our psychotherapy unit. We have emergency and uh, operating theater. We have the OPD for the general outpatient department to cater for uh, urgent and court cases. And we have our emergencies for the emergency cases. We have uh, a new lab that was built, uh, which is not included in the building, but some distance uh, behind the hospital. We offer a range of various uh, surgeries. Uh, ranging from minor to major surgeries, including the maternity, obs obstetric and gynecology cases. And um, we have uh, our radiology unit, which uh, we carry on uh, various uh, imaging, uh, medical imaging, such as the scanning and the x-rays and uh, other imaging that uh, is available. Our x-ray department has a digital x-ray that has been upgraded to from the normal analog uh, x-ray. So we've bought a lot of uh, equipment to all these units uh, just to upgrade the hospital. So we can now proudly say that we offer a, a full primary and secondary care. The equipments that the hospital was commissioned with uh, were actually found to be obsolete and so we have to replace most of the equipments, the medical equipments. Uh, so we've spent a lot of money over about 100 million to see that we equip with the latest uh, equipment uh, that uh, I use now. The ones that are obsolete, uh, we put them in the store for anyone to come and see. We have the staff strength of 264. This hospital and the other campuses combined together. And so we, because of the various units that have been created and um, made functional, we employed about 187 ad hoc staff in addition to the 77 permanent staff that we have. And uh, some of them are in Pianco, some are in Lafayette campus, and some are in Goody campus. The remaining bulky staff uh, strength is this hospital. We do intend to add more equipment to our maternity ward the phototherapy machine, which we don't have now, and also a hormonal analyzer in the lab, which we have not bought. We have one consultant on um, sabbatical who is going to work with us this year. And uh, by so doing, we have uh, two consultants in the clinic, and we, another one will soon come from the ob -Gani. So we tend to improve the quality of care by bringing more uh, capable and uh, more experienced uh, hands so that it will be like a learning facility for medical students and our junior doctors. With the student number that keeps on increasing, we, we also have to devise a way of trying to see that we, we cover and serve the population of the students and staff. And one of the factors that uh, came in and at uh, tried to solve the problem of this increase in students was to engage in the Nasara State uh, Health Insurance Scheme, which uh, money is pulled by all these students and then being managed well to cater for 
the students and staff. And I think we're not doing badly. Our aim is actually to make a mini teaching hospital with the coming of the uh, medical college. Uh, so we have uh, strategized to secure for uh, various uh, donations and uh, through the approval of the VC to some politicians and some philanthropists. We also do intend to give an update to the retired and retired and Juma on the state of the hospital as of, as of now. The upgrade we have made and what needs to, more to be done. We are thinking that we will seek for his audience in order to see that our radiology, radiology center is uh, being built. And uh, once, one, once that is done, I think uh, we have a radiology center building behind us. We have made all the necessary arrangements to meet him. We will be glad if he will come to our aid again. There are a lot of other structures that we need to expand. The mortuary, the pediatric ward, the OB gynae ward, the surgical wards, because the initial donation was made only for medical wards only. So we need more of such was to make it a complete four clinical departments that will serve as a full teaching hospital or mini teaching hospital. And that will serve the College of Medicine that are in the pipeline to come. We sincerely also thank the outgoing VC who has given the political will and all the necessary support that he, he gave us within one year or two to really upgrade the hospital and uh, we hope that the incoming VC will, uh, will keep up the tempo because uh, uh, all we need is uh, support. And another thing I want to mention is that we were able to do all these things because of the privilege the VC and the management team gave us, uh, gave us a kind of semi-autonomy where we control our resources because of the nature of managing a hospital. Uh, uh, we, we have an approval limit and we have our budget, and so we spend from that budget.